Howdy there, folks. This is Quinn. That's Snazzy iPhone Guy, and this is Mac Madness Monday, the creepy Steve Jobs Memorial Edition. Now, this is uh, probably one of the better Mac Madness Mondays I've done because it's one of the most interesting applications developed by one of the most amazing developers, Erica Sadoon. Now, this is uh, extremely interesting because it utilizes uh, what I think to be one of the most impressive features of Lion, but unfortunately, Apple didn't really develop it to its full potential, and that is Resume. Now, what Resume allows you to do, and as it being a part of the new Lion OS, it allows you to actually close an application, to quit an application altogether, and when you reopen the application, all of your windows and all of your previous sessions are restored. So for example, let's say I was writing an email in mail, and rather than having to save a draft and remember where that draft was saved, I can just quit the application, and the next time I open mail, boom, I'm in the exact same spot I was before. The problem with Resume is there's a lot of applications that use Resume that I really don't want to use Resume. And unfortunately, Resume is only opt-in or opt-out by default. So what Resuminator allows you to do is select exactly which applications can and cannot use Resume. So I will talk to you about the application, but again, it's rather very simple. So uh, let's say text edit always uses uh, always uses Resume. And I never want it to use Resume. I don't care about the last documents that were open. I only use text edit to view uh, PDFs and the like, and you know, previews the same. So I say, no, this shouldn't Resume. And what I have is I have Resume disabled by default. Now I can go through here and select all of my applications which I do want to Resume. So let's say um, Safari is one that I want to Resume. And I don't know why anyone would want to Resume Safari. It's horrible opening the app and having your last nine windows open. But let's say I wanted to Resume Safari. So right now, if I go to safari.com, or excuse me, Safari the application, I go to google.com. Great, Google's loaded, but when I quit the application and reopen it, it goes back to my main page. Now if I do enable Resume using Resuminator, and by the way, Resuminator doesn't need to remain open. Once you're done and you've done all your settings, you can close Resuminator, and uh, you know it, it just totally is in the background. But uh, as you can see, it goes to my main page, Let's say I want Google.com, and let's do another tab just for kicks and giggles. Let's do Engadget.com. Okay, so we've got Engadget and Google loaded right here. Now what happens is I quit the application, and when I reopen it, up, oh, that session was restored, and it's all thanks to Resuminator. But the good thing is, let's say Preview and Text Edit and Mail, which I don't want to be resumed, won't. They won't resume because you didn't tell Resuminator to resume them. So you go through here and you look at all your applications that you do and do not want to resume, and it's absolutely amazing. I think it's super well developed, it's fast, it's light, it's easy, and it gets the job done. I really, really like this application, recommend it highly. Again, it's free, so why not try it out? Uh, it really allows you to take control of what I felt Lion had the most potential for, but unfortunately didn't quite follow through with. And so that is the review of Resuminator. I can't talk about it any more highly because it functions well, it's fast, it's light, it's easy, and most of all, it's free. Brought to you by a great developer. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Pick Resuminator up today free by clicking the download link below. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.